Hello students. Today we are going to see standard 10th mathematics part 2 lesson number 1 similarity. In similarity properties are given. So we will first see the properties of similarity. So the first property of similarity is the ratio of the areas of two triangles is equal to the ratio of the product of their bases and corresponding heights. So to prove this property we need to draw two triangles. So why to draw two triangles? Because in a property here it is mentioned two triangles. So we will draw two triangles where we need its base and height also. So accordingly we will draw the figure. So here I have already drawn two triangles. So first is triangle ABC and triangle PQR. In triangle ABC this AD is perpendicular to BC and PS is perpendicular to QR. So this perpendicular distance is nothing but the corresponding heights and BC and QR are the basis of the triangles. Now students, you have studied in previous classes about area of triangle. So what is the formula of area of triangle? Yes, so area of triangle, area of triangle is equal to half into base into height. This is a formula for area of triangle. Now we are going to use this formula in a triangle. So first triangle, triangle ABC equal to half into base of ABC is BC. So we will write BC into height is AD. So we will write AD. Now the second triangle area we will find similar way. Triangle PQR equal to half into QR into PS. So once we got this, after that we will read again a statement that we need ratio of the areas of these two triangles. Now in last year, previous year, we have studied ratio proportion lesson. So accordingly, we will find the ratio. Ratio means numerator upon denominator. So we will arrange these two areas in the form of ratio. So I will write this area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR equal to the value of ABC. Area of triangle ABC is half into BC into AD and for PQR half into QR into PS. So this is again a ratio. Now if you observe the ratios in this similar terms are there or same terms are there that can be cancelled. Now the remaining terms will write it here. So what is remaining? Area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR equal to now the remaining things are BC into AD whole upon QR into PS now in this figure in our figure this BC is nothing but the base and this nothing but the height so now for this I will denote the number letters. So for this, this is the first area. So I will write A1 upon, this is the second area. So I will write A2 equal to, for this BC base, I will consider the letter B1 that is base 1 into H1 height 1 whole upon, this is B2 into H2, B2 into H2. So, this way it is easy to remember A1 upon A2 equal to B1 into B2 upon B2 into 
H2. So, this is the first property. Now, from the first property now, we are going to derive the second property. See students. Now, suppose in this triangle, in this triangle now, you can see base BC and QR of different length. Suppose, if these lengths are same, if the length of BC and length of QR will be same, then we can see accordingly this, if B1 equal to B2, then this A1 upon A2 equal to H1 upon H2 because the rule is similar terms can be cancelled. So, for second property, area, this is the second property of similarity. So, second property will be the ratio of the areas of two triangles with, a, with equal bases, then that ratios are proportional to their corresponding height. So, this is the second property. Now, on this we can prove the third property also. In that now, again, if you observe the figure here, AD and PS, both the heights are different. But suppose, if this AD and PS both are same, or the triangles are with the equal height, then what will happen? See now, if H1 equal to H2, then A1 upon A2 equal to H1, H2 will get cancelled. And what will remain? B1 upon B2. So, this is the second, third property of similarity.